Fox 10 News Now update. We're continuing to keep track of the vaccine rollout. We're learning more about the results of a new government study on the effectiveness of the first two COVID vaccines. The study involved roughly 4,000 individuals across six states. Researchers say that more than half were fully vaccinated with two shots, while 500 received one shot. The study found that both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines were highly effective in protecting against COVID-19. The risk of infection was reduced by 90% after individuals received the two recommended doses of the vaccine. The study also found that people starting to get a protective effect even after the first dose. Previously, both Pfizer and Moderna ran studies showing their vaccines were 95% effective. Researchers say the government study differs, examining the shot's performance across a wider scope of the population. Locally, the vaccine rollout continues. The Mobile County Health Department holding a series of first dose vaccine clinics at the cruise terminal this week. The hours are a little different each day, so take a good look at the screen. Now today, vaccines will be administered between 8 this morning and 4 this afternoon. Pfizer vaccines will be given out on a first come first serve basis. No appointments are necessary. Despite more people getting vaccinated against COVID-19, health leaders say that new daily cases are on the rise. The CDC says that new data shows the country averaged around 60,000 new infections last week. Now they say that's a 10% increase from the week before. The CDC says that so far the United States has surpassed now 30 million cases of COVID-19. According to Johns Hopkins University, more than 550,000 people in the U.S. have died of COVID-19. And globally, nearly 2.8 million people have died from the virus. One of the largest school districts in the state is suing e-cigarette giant Juul. Baldwin County Schools suing the company, alleging it purposely created an e-cigarette that would be attractive to children. The Baldwin County and Jefferson County Alabama school systems are among hundreds of school systems nationwide demanding that Jewel pay for allegedly getting kids hooked on nicotine. Law firm Beasley Allens is hired now to represent Baldwin schools, demanding payback for what they say it costs the schools to police e-cigarette use in class. Jewel um, actively created a product that appeals to young people. They marketed that product to young people and really were, were the fuel behind what turned into a, a wildfire of an of a e-cigarette epidemic. According to the law firm, about 19% of Alabama students admitted to smoking an e-cig in the last 30 days. Jewel says that it will continue to work to combat underage usage of its product. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. We have clouds and showers offshore that are gradually going to be tracking their way onshore. Clouds are going to be increasing throughout the day today, and as far as our rain chances, they will be scattered based. You're looking at about 30 to 40 percent coverage overall, but the humidity will be building as we await the arrival of a powerful cold front that moves in tomorrow. That will bring a high rain chance as well as the risk of possible severe storms. The risk zone, a level one out of five that runs from the Gulf Coast all the way up to North Alabama and most of the storms tomorrow are going to show up in the afternoon and early evening and that's going to send sharply colder air into our area for both Thursday and for Friday. So your weather headlines for today spotty showers and then tomorrow Storms return, some of the potential to be strong, and then at the end of the week, our weather turns sharply colder. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast where clouds increase, and there's your scattered shower risk. Nothing overwhelming, but showers will move from south to north, and as we progress in toward tomorrow, you'll notice the coverage of rain starts to increase as the front gets colder, uh, closer, but we're not expecting a lot of rain tomorrow morning. Much of it will come tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, so as a lot of you get off work, that is when the heavier bands of showers and storms will march their way from the northwest down to the southeast, potentially crossing the I-65 corridor around 7 o'clock in the evening and then marching their way south and east of Pensacola by 9 o'clock tomorrow night, and that sets the stage for calmer weather as we progress into your Thursday with the sky clearing. So here's how the next seven days stack up. The high tomorrow will get up to about 80 and then we go sunny for the end of the week and sharply colder highs go back to the low 60s weaving it down to the mid 30s Friday morning 
But Easter weekend looks good. Sun and clouds with highs rebounding into the mid to upper 70s as we start next week. We'll talk much more about your weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.